Today is Halloween. Hundreds of haunted houses are open, hoping to entertain and scare. But some people are calling one Tennessee Halloween attraction a quote torture chamber under disguise. Good evening. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Kim Chapman. Bliss Seckman explains why thousands have signed a petition to shut down McCamey Manor in Summertown, Tennessee, and why the owners of one local haunted attraction say they don't condone what that attraction is doing. Bliss. Josh Kim, according to its website, McAmy Manor promises an extreme experience that can last up to 10 hours, requires participants to be medically cleared by a doctor and sign a 40 page waiver. Thousands of dollars are offered to anyone who can complete the experience. But the part owner of Dread Hollow, a local haunted house, says he doesn't think McAmy Manor is designed to let anyone make it to the end. Inside Dread Hollow, you see things that make your spine shiver. Part owner of the haunted experience, Tim Green, says that's their goal. Um, when you step through our doors, you feel like you are in the town of Dread Hollow. But Green says what McAmy Manor does isn't entertainment, and it's more than scary. Said our goal is to entertain people. We're not out to hurt anybody. Um, and that just to me, that seems to me like that's that's all he's trying to do is hurt people. On McAmy Manor's waiver, it says you agree to being shocked, submerged in water, slapped, tied up, shaved, or even getting unwanted dental work. People like Hamilton County resident Carol Tarifa says that's not something they'd sign up for. So I went to their Facebook and then I went to their website. It's just too spooky. Tarifa isn't alone. A change.org petition to shut down McAmy Manor has more than 19,000 signatures. Pretty much people going into there voluntarily signing a waiver and getting tortured with the promise of a reward if they make it through it. And uh, from what I've heard, he makes sure that nobody makes it through it. Industry experts agree McAmy Manor is not a haunted house. Members of the Haunted Attraction Association say they're tired of this consensual torture experience being put in their same category. We're out to scare you and entertain you, but we're not out to hurt anybody. Concern over McAmy Manor has made its way all the way to the top law enforcement officials in Lawrence County. District Attorney Brent Cooper has looked in to see if the extreme haunt has crossed the line into criminal. Our sister station Fox 17 News reported on a story last year where there was a report of a woman being kidnapped. Police arrived and found a woman shivering, beaten, and duct taped in a cellar, but she signed up for it. Kim. Liz, thank you. Now, it costs practically nothing to enter McCamey Manor, just a bag of dog food. Officials at McCamey Animal Center in Chattanooga say they have received several calls from people concerned about the animal shelter and if it's concerned to McCamey Manor. Well, Executive Director Jamie McAloon says they are in no way affiliated with McCamey Manor.